Hi there, this is Mrs. Vaughn coming to you with a little bit of help with gastrochemistry problems. In this short video, we're going to be looking at volume to mass problems at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So anytime we have volume and mass, we want to pay attention to what our conditions are. In this case, we're at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, short for zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. So our example problem says, if 10 grams of nitrogen is reacted completely at STP, what volume of nitrogen dioxide gas will be produced? Well, anytime we're doing stoichiometry, we need to have a balanced chemical equation. So I've provided one for you here in pink. Since we're at STP, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into our dimensional analysis. So we're gonna write our given information first. So I'm gonna take my 10 grams of nitrogen and put it over one. My next step, my next conversion factor, I need to get rid of those grams of nitrogen. So I'm going to put a molar mass conversion factor in here. Grams are bad, moles are good. So I'm gonna cancel out grams by putting my grams on the bottom, left with moles. I don't want moles of nitrogen, I want volume of nitrogen dioxide gas. So I've still got a few conversion factors to go. Need to get rid of moles of nitrogen. So I'm gonna use Avogadro's principle. This is gonna turn my moles into liters. Now the only reason that I can use Avogadro's principle, which says that one mole of any gas will have a volume of 22.4 liters is because we're at STP. Those are the three magic letters that let us know we can use Avogadro's principle. And that's for any gas, helium, neon, nitrogen, doesn't matter. We can use this conversion factor as long as we're at STP to go from moles to liters. But liters of nitrogen isn't what I want, so I need to use my volume ratio to get rid of liters of nitrogen. Switch me to liters of nitrogen dioxide. I'm gonna take all of my numbers on the top, multiply those by each other. I take all of my numbers on the bottom, multiply those by each other. I'm gonna take that product from my top numbers, divide it by the product of my bottom numbers. This will give me my answer, my final answer, that volume that I wanted, those liters of nitrogen dioxide. In this case, the, our answer is 16. I like using dimensional analysis for volume to mass problems at STP because I can track what I'm getting rid of and I don't have to worry about throwing in any of my gas laws. Hope this was helpful. If there are any other questions or if there's anything else I can do to help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching and good luck.